Hello flowers, it's me, Cozy Bee. I hope you're all feeling healthy and hydrated today. In the last episode, we went ahead and fixed the extractor together, and in between episodes, I made a weed terminator potion so that we can go up to the northwest and get rid of the little honey pumpkin there and continue our main quest as soon as possible. There's a crow! A witch! It spoke! It's a witch's crow! Oh, it's a witch's crow! The witch returns! The witch returns! Uh, this is my first time coming here, though. He disagrees. Not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services! Goods and services! The witch's catalog! The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards High Lion, young lady. But I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm gonna make sure I try it out before I go to High Lion. But it's a limited time only. Register now for a gift. Try the witch's catalog. Try the witch's catalog. They're handing out gifts as well. Plus, it's a limited time only. There's a gift, a uh, multi-purpose glue, kitchen accessories, a spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. All right, let's register for now. Thank you, thank you, visit employee, visit employee. Uh, they come here or when? Work finished. Work finished. Closed for the day. I'm closed for the day. Oh, bye. So suddenly, it's not easy getting the message across to witches' crows. Hmm, then I guess I should keep searching for the village. You never know when the witch's catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. So before we head to the northwest, I want to spend just a little time this morning collecting some regents in the areas that we've already explored. So when it comes time to make more potions, we'll have things that we need on hand so we won't have to keep searching for ingredients all the time. And also in between episodes, I went ahead and connected my uh, just regular Bluetooth controller to my PC so that I can use it instead of using the keyboard and mouse. So it'll take me a little bit to get used to the new bindings, but it should be pretty intuitive and we shouldn't have a hard time. as well. It's a pumpkin terrier. Uh, pumpkin terriers can be found in the forest uh, or the plains area both in day and night. They draw pumpkin terrier fur when harvested with gloves. It lives off pumpkin type plants. Oftentimes it's covered in pumpkin vines. It loves to play so it will try to play hide and seek if you attempt to collect from them. Try to remove all the vines wrapped around it if you're curious about its true appearance. Oh, I bet we could use the weed termination potion to do that, but we need to use it up in the northwest, so uh, I'll try and remember to do that later. Hello. I just went a little bit. I'm sorry. Thank you.
This well area is really darling, but I haven't seen any of the villagers at all, but I'm hoping once we find the village and we clear up the prickly vine issue that they'll come out and maybe use some things in the area and we can interact with them a little more. Virgil, look at that! It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. We better get rid of it before it grows anymore. What? I'm not even a gardener. Why? We must get rid of it to get to a new place since we haven't been behind there. Oh, I guess it can't be helped to get to the new place. I guess I should make a Weed Terminator potion. A witch's life. Collect the required ingredients, process them, then try making a potion. If there's anything you do not know, try using the quilt and encyclopedia. It's simple because I've made it once before. Don't forget to remove the nucleus if you want to avoid repeating the same thing. Uh, we already brought one with us, but before, let's go ahead and draw this bird. It's a sprout bird. It can be found in the forest and the mountains in the daytime. It's a common bird found in the green forest. The sprout on its head will shrivel up or bloom with flowers. They drop their flowers behind should you scare them away. And if they're well fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. Uh, they didn't drop their flowers. Maybe they have to bloom bigger. Anyway, Let's go ahead and use the Weed Terminator potion on the little honey pumpkin. Or, I guess this is an adult honey pumpkin. Oh, we can't get through this way yet. Maybe around the bottom? We did it! Now we can go through. Oh no. Oh no. Hello. I'm coming. Don't you worry. I'll, I'm, I'll be right there. I'm coming. Hello. Wow, Virgil. There's someone stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I don't know. Um, ah! They woke up! Who? I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. My name is Rubrum. I live in the village with my grandma. But now I'm stuck in a big spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of his situation. A big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. <gasps> you be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with spider webs, Ellie. It looks pretty strong. One wrong move and you'll get stuck in it yourself. Then what do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. I learned that maple herb grows on cliffs. I'll bring it soon. Yes, please come back soon. Collecting with special consideration. Creatures usually live in specific environments. Explore the forest to discover various creatures. Use the quilt and encyclopedia to find out their habitats. Okay, we'll be right back. Good, I got the maple herb. Let's go back to Rubrum now. Right after I grab this witch flower. All right, we're on our way. Like this. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay. 
Then let's go to the witch's house together. Oh, please follow me for the entire game, Rubrum. Is he keeping up okay? Uh, I should go check on Rubrum first. Oh. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I can't walk because my legs hurt. You were probably up there for too long. Then I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. Oh. Aren't I heavy? Of course you are. Really. Just stop talking. Our village is just a little further from here, but you cannot pass through now because of the prickly vines. Let's go to the witch's house for now and find a way. Yeah. We're here. Wow, a witch's house. Thanks. How's your leg? It still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Wow, really? I'll make sure to get you back to your village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg first. Brubrum, wait here for a moment. Right. I think we know a recipe for healing candies. Let's see. Well, we do. Healing candies are a mint-flavored candy for kids. Be sure to store it on a high shelf in a tin can since it's addictive. It's an easy recipe. Set the fire to stage four and stir clockwise. And we need witch flower extract and maple herb extract. I think we have those downstairs in storage already. Let's see. Let's just double check the recipe before we get started. All we have to do is set the fire to stage four and stir clockwise. I think we can do that. And we did it! A healing candy. A candy that quickly heals light wounds. Though it looks delicious, it has a strange taste. Oh, hopefully Rubrum likes it. Would you like to try this? Wow, what's this? Is it candy? Yep, it's a candy to heal your leg. Wow, thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, it is delicious. Uh, never mind, this tastes awful. It's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. Thanks, Ellie. The candy tastes awful, though. So, how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit, but time flew by, and by then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of the train. Oh, it must be the one I was riding. I went towards the train, and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. It must have been that bird, not the train. It was that bird. I went into a deep place as I was running away. Then I found a treasure map and got caught in a spider web as I was trying to pick it up. A treasure map? I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? 
What about the gigantic prickly vine? Oh well, we can't do that much about it yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Ellie, can I follow you too? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine. But be careful. Okay, thanks. Rubrum said he saw a treasure map where he was caught up in the spider webs. So, we'll go right over there. Are you keeping up, bud? I'll get some apples while I'm here. I don't see anything unusual over here. There's something here, but oh, it's a witch's pattern something back there. Oh, I found it. A boom potion. I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. And also something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go try it right away? I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting into trouble? Hey, what do you take me for? Boom Potion, don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it? Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a Boom Potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it thinking that it's treasure like Rubra. Oh, hi, welcome back. Or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? Ugh, I don't know. The important thing now is that the boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion. Wow, it won't even budge. It must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are those fragments coming out of it? Huh? Where? Around your feet. Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit. But the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm, well... Oh, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. A uh, keyword gain, large prickly vine splinter. A splinter of the giant prickly vine blocking the entrance to the village. What does our quest say? Ask Aria. Oh, she's right here. That works out. Hello. Welcome. Do you need anything? Uh, let's talk to her first. Do you know when I feel happiest while working as a peddler? I'm assuming it's when it's profitable. When I see the product properly. I feel best when I find something precious among the things laid out randomly at the country market. Then, isn't it a big gain? You can buy it cheap and sell it. I can't do that. A good product must be bought at a good price. But the other person didn't know. But I knew. What if you're wrong? Then I have only my poor eyes to blame. Aren't you being too nice in doing business? It's been a really long time since I've heard that I'm nice. Don't worry. It's a matter of my convictions rather than how nice I am. 
I earn enough to get by. And uh, chit chat. My love, my beautiful love. Oh, thank you. I look for you in the morning sun broken by the waves. Oh, my love, my dazzling love. What kind of song is that? It's a song that sailors sing. When I sing, it's nice to feel like I'm back in those days. My love, my beautiful love. I look at you and the sail's blown up to be large by the breeze. Oh, my love, my warm love. Are you selling anything? I don't have any items ready now. Okay, well, let's ask her about the vines. Oh, is this a fragment of the prickly vine? Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? Uh, no, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? It's a tool made by a witch. The power of the moon of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Then hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great. All right, here goes. Huh? What? The prickly vine fragment, it disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? <laughs> no, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight... Uh, it seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now! Avoiding the moon. They're plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right. This prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No, I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Do you need anything? Uh, no. See you next time. Let's talk to Rubrum. Hello, Ellie. Any interesting stories? My name is Rubrum. It's the name given to me by my grandma. The name suits you well. Thanks. Ellie, do you like tea? Uh, yes, I do. I like it. Whoa, let's drink some tea later. I'll give you some delicious tea. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you have a shop? I'm worried about which tea leaf to brew. Oh, I wonder if he has a little tea shop in the village. Goodbye. Alright, let's get this started. The Moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course. We're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree. Bitter grape tea tree? That's the tree we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm, the tea leaves, blah blah blah, tastes like grape, strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is! Blah blah blah, it is also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Moonflower, so it was here. There's still more information. It gathers moonlight most of the time. On a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom. Yeah, 
It's commonly used method back in Lucerine or two. Well, if you knew, you should have told us. Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies and shoo them away to collect the moonflower. All right, let's get rid of the blue moon butterflies, make lunar's oil, and remove the prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. All right, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. All right, everyone, we've worked really hard today. We rescued Rubrum from the spider's web, and we researched a new way to get rid of the prickly vines. We'll try really hard in the next episode to make the sunlight potion and see what happens next. See you then.